So as most of you know by now, the Echo Show 15 received an update that now allows it to basically have the Fire TV operating system directly on it. Before you were pretty limited in what you could do, you only had the main interface if we go to home here, and it was basically like a calendar slash a reminder slash a grocery list for you and your family. But Amazon went and made the Echo Show 15 just that much valuable by adding this little Fire TV option here that basically pulls up the Fire TV interface. Now I've had a ton of issues so far. I actually can't even get apps to install. It just gets stuck on refreshing. So let me know down below in the description if you have the same issue. But today I'm gonna to be showing you how to connect your Fire TV remote directly to your Echo Show 15. This should be a pretty simple process, but I wanted to bring it to you guys to make it that much easier. Let's get into it. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below and give this video a big thumbs up and go follow us on a platform such as Twitter or Facebook. We got lots of different social medias. They're all linked down below. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your settings menu. It's pretty simple, just swipe down on your screen. You can see right now my remote's not connected. Now the first time connecting to the Fire TV OS, it does give you an option to connect a remote. So that might make it easier for you. You just wanna head over to the settings option in the very top. And then right here, you're going to see a get started with Fire TV remote. So we wanna click on that and then pair remote. You can see they give you an option to purchase a remote. I'm just using one of my leftover Fire Stick remotes. I actually think this is from my Fire TV cube that I switched out for the new Alexa Pro remote. It's okay, not that crazy. We're gonna go pair remote right here and it gives you instructions. So just hold down the home button for 10 seconds, make sure you have remotes in there and it should go straight to discovery mode. So let's hold it down and let's see if we get it. And there we go. We can see it popped up fire TV remote discovered. And remember this was an already paired remote. So it seems to work both ways, whether it's new or not new, we're going to click on the fire TV remote option and it should connect. There we go. Connect it. And now let's see if we can give it a go here. There we go, back, 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 and we're in it. So you can see we can now use our remote with our Fire TV, really easy to kind of move around and navigate. Now it is pretty limited because if we go click home, it brings us here, but can I actually get back? Okay, so home, okay, so home toggles the two home screens. That's kind of cool. Now the issue I'm having, I just want to show you guys really quick because I wanted to do a video on the top streaming apps for it. But when I go and try to download one, we can see we go, and I, like I said, I want you guys to let me know if you have this issue as well. I click here, click. Okay, see, I don't know. See, it's kind of glitched so far because you have to do more info like that too. And when we go to get the download, it just gets stuck on refreshing. So I really want you guys to let me know down below in the description if you have this issue as well, because I'd like to find a solution for this. I might try a reset. Maybe it's a Canada thing. We were a little behind on getting it. Uh, I just had an update pushed and it didn't help. So hopefully uh, uh, the next update kind of solves this issue. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you want more content on your Echo Show 15, check out this video right up here and let me know down below which video you'd like me to make next for this Echo Show 15. I'll see you in the next one.